Can you talk about your defense and just how, especially on three pointers, how you held them off? Well, I think they just missed some, um, but we changed. We changed a couple things, or we didn't really change anything. We we tried to fix some things from Saturday, um, where we did a better job of containing people, but. Uh, I mean, they really shoot it. They really, really shoot it. And they had a bad day. We had a bad day, too. I mean, that was a – I don't know from where you were. It's hard for me to watch sometimes. It's 39 turnovers. and is neither one of our better games. Was that kind of the game plan to get physical with them, though, and kind of cause that a little bit? No, I mean, we – I see. I don't think we're all that physical. I mean, we, we. Uh, I think we draw. I, I, I think because of our size, and and we we do have really good size. You know, I think I think it it becomes uh, more physical. Were you pleased with the way you guys responded to that? I mean, they 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 play against each other every day, so they're kind of used to it. Isaac likely is a guy that had success against you guys last year. You put Jermaine on him. Just how effective was Jermaine? No, we want to put Jermaine on because Jermaine's six seven and longer, and um, got pretty good feet. You also had Jermaine running the point at the end of the first half. Just do you think he settled that position down a little bit? Well, Jermaine played point for us last year. He played majority of the year at point, so he knows what he's doing. What was the key in your mind to holding them off down the second in the second half so that they, they didn't mount a comeback? Well, I thought we did a pretty good job of staying in front of them. Uh, we didn't we didn't turn them loose much, and um, and we rebounded. I mean, for, I mean, pretty much it was one and done, which really helps you not giving them extra shots. Not related to the game, but I wanted to ask you about Chuck Mayshock and you know, if, if you could talk about the relationship you guys developed over the decades back to when you were playing at WVU. Well, I mean, the guy has been <clears throat> almost a father to me. I mean, uh, I've got a great father, don't get me wrong, but from a, from a basketball standpoint, from a professional uh, standpoint, he's he's been my guy I mean he's been the guy that I I ask for advice he's been the guy that that I go to when I I need some help uh, figuring some things out um, and we've been we've been very very close for he he actually recruited me to West Virginia uh, and, and and then uh, then I got there and he was gone uh, he went to ball State but then uh, when the uh, Coach Gardner staff got let go, of which I was part of Coach Gardner's staff. Um, I didn't have a job, so you know, the first person I call is Chuck, and he said, "Well, you know, we just had one open up. Let me go talk to Coach Miller at Ohio State. He was at Ohio State then, and Coach Miller hired me at Ohio State. I think to a large degree because of Chuck's reference, and and so I was there for a couple years, and then." Um, was a head coach for three years at a small school, and Chuck Chuck's the only person in the world that could ever talk me into going to Central Florida at that time. You know, they were D two going Division one, and 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 I'm I'm thinking, you know, I'm now I'm stepping back from being a head coach to being an assistant coach at a at a D two school, no less. And uh, but he talked me into doing it, uh, so I did it for a year, and it turned out great. And I, you know, got the Akron job, and he. Uh, and as soon as I got the Cincinnati job, I called him and I said, "You, uh, you ready? You ready to coach a little bit again?" Because he had got into uh, into the financial world, and so he moved to Cincinnati, uh, and and helped me, and and uh, helped me the first what was it, first three years, I guess, maybe four years, and uh, really helped us get to the Final Four. Did a great job with the bigs, and I, if you've read anything or seen anything about what the guys are saying, they love Chuck. 
and and you know Chuck's Chuck's got a great way of of being really hard on you, uh, but you're loving it, you know. And then they they everybody who has ever been around a guy loves a guy, and and he and I were, were especially close uh, over the years. So and I'm I'm glad I I went to I spent a day with him. Uh, I'm not sure when it was. It was it was sometime during like the recruiting period. So I got to spend some time with him and and I'll have lunch with him. And he's always got the best place to eat. Always had the best place to eat. He'd always, you know, even if he didn't hadn't been there ever before, you know, he he that was his that was his thing. He was always going to be the guy who had the best place in wherever town we went in to eat. Even though sometimes he didn't have a clue. <clears throat> Good, thank you.